Grant, your thoughts on that one this afternoon? Yeah, it's a good win. Um, two very good goals in the first half. Uh, we knew we were coming up against a Swindon team with, with a, a reaction from, from Tuesday night and pleased to score early when we did, Max, and, uh, and then a really good finish from Hacks to put his 2-0 up. Um, we, we thought there might be changes at half-time, but obviously the change in the shape and stuff like that, and we, we worked on a couple of different ways that Swindon play in a, in a 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3 or 3-5-2. Um, we started the second half not great, so obviously we let the cross come in and Glatzel gets in in between us in the, in the middle of the goal um, and then we had to dig in like you know we, we probably haven't done this enough of uh, enough of, of this this season is dig in when teams will have a spell against us and and for, for all of the second half for a player of Swindon you know they, they were they were good in the second half and we had to dig and we had to stay strong and, and defend and track runners and block crosses and things like that and we've done it well. Which half were you more impressed with? We're fairly comfortable in that first half they had quite a lot of the ball but didn't really trouble you too much. Yeah, I thought, I thought the shape was good in the first half. I think we were waiting. Obviously, there was lots of times when we could have countered and broke on them. Um, maybe the last pass just didn't get quite get there. So we just spoke to the team at half-time. Um, said, look, if they're in this shape in the second half, can we be a bit more, uh, a bit better in, in possession and particularly on transitions? Um, obviously, they changed their shape and, and scored really on early on, which, which lifted their crowd. Um, I reckon... And this is a massive bit of a statement for me. I think we'd have lost that game. Going back three, four months, maybe three months ago, we'd have probably ended up losing that game. I think we'd have, I don't know why, I think we maybe just felt the heat and gone under a little bit. Um, but this group has got a real spirit about them. Obviously, leaders in the group now and, and experience in there in the group that they kept us, uh, they kept us sound. And Timmy made a couple of good saves and took a sting out of the game a little bit. And we still had a good, really good chance to go 3 1 up with, with Moles. Um, how you missed it, I don't know. <laughs> Even he's talking about it down there. Um, but what I was pleased with the group was the the, the resilience to, to to keep that second goal, that equalising goal from Swindon. You know, coming out of coming here and a long way, long way for us to come. But we're pleased with the win. I mentioned for Jack Senior, obviously coming back into the side, but the amount of work he had to do this afternoon for, for the full ninety as well. Yeah, yeah, and we had one change left, and they're quick down their right hand side there, Swindon with good belief and. Basili, I think his name is La come on and Hepburn Murphy so we just wanted to try and add a bit more pace there with, with Joe and I thought Joe done well to help Jack and Woody on that side of the pitch to sort of extend the flow a little bit How pleased are you for Maxime Biamo his first start in competitive football for almost three years and he marked it with a goal Yeah I thought he was excellent when he was on the pitch um, we knew we probably wouldn't get 90 minutes out of him today I think he sort of way went after that run he made in the channel and the, the, the chance he set up for Moles but He's a good player, Max. You can see he's aggressive and he can win. He's winning everything in the air. He can get a hold of it. His goal was excellent. First time into the top corner. So it's a really good you know, first start for him and really pleased for him. It's a big ask for somebody to come in and replace Joe Einstein, given what Joe Einstein has produced this season and show that sort of physicality that Joe has. But Max did well with that. Yeah, second. and we missed him when he went off a little bit. Look, at nothing against Billy and, and Hacks. They're not that... Or sorry, Billy and... and, and and Hursty, they're not that type of player and um, you know, you, we need that focal point, particularly when we're coming under a bit of pressure, um, like Swindon put us under in the second half. Um, we probably needed that ball to stick a little bit more at the top end of the pitch, but Joe and Max, you know, really, really important to, to how we want to play, given the fact that we like to play with wingers, wide players, wide forwards that are quick and, and want to run them, run them behind off the sides of them. You touched on it earlier, great finish by Akeeb Adelikan, but continuing that fine run that he's had since he joined the club. Yeah, it's it, obviously look, it's tough for for Hex at the minute. Obviously, he's gone through Ramadan and things like that, and he's he's, he's not eating. And um, so he he's just spoke to me. He's running a little bit empty, and he can't wait to till he can eat to, this evening. But um, it's another great it's another great goal from him. I thought he was going to take it with his left foot, and just for him to come inside and, and pass it into the, the bottom corner was excellent. A few changes this afternoon during the game. None of them enforced, just to keep things. No, right. just more just freshing it up a little bit, just trying to to get a bit of a foothold in the game. Um, but like I say, probably not our best in terms of, uh, particularly second half, not our best on the ball today. But what we did, we showed a real different side to us today and a real aggression to keep the to keep the win. No Zane Westbrook in the match day 18 this uh, this afternoon. What, what yeah, just a about? strange one. Zane would have started the game today. It was more, um, we woke up this morning and the physio rang me and said he was ill overnight. Um, <clears throat> so it's uh, it was a blow for us at the time. You know, you're having to, you didn't work, you're working all week on your team and, and then last minute, players obviously ill so 
Uh, look, I thought George George came in and done really well when he came in. He's, you know, um, we've got high hopes for George. We think he's going to have a real high future at this football club. Played a big part in uh, Max's goal. Yeah, he did. We won the second ball, great header over the top, and um, and a good finish. So uh, yeah, this is this is why we have a squad. Uh, Joe Ironside, Matty Craig, uh, James Maxwell all train probably Monday, Tuesday. Get the game came a little bit too soon for them. So again, we get stronger going going into next week's game. Fantastic following this afternoon, a long trip as you mentioned, but they're in good voice. Yeah, it's it's great. The fans the fans travel in their numbers all the time, and it's what is it four hours or so from from here to Doncaster. So um, brilliant and and really pleased because we haven't sent them away away from away games enough this season. Wins so pleased for they can go up the road up the road with three points.